The media and local parents love to portray electric scooters as the new most dangerous thing that's come to town. I almost got killed twice. Plenty of trips to the ER and worse. E-scooters like this are becoming a dangerous nuisance on congested streets across the nation. But are electric scooters actually that dangerous? Let's take a look at the numbers. It is true that there has been a rise in electric scooter related incidents in the last couple of years, but this is mostly due to a rise in their popularity and usage. So in our case, to evaluate how dangerous they are, some kind of rate makes more sense. And in our case, we're gonna use the fatality rate. According to a report from the Consumer Product Safety Commission, from 2017 to 2021, there were upward of 117,000 visits to the emergency room due to electric scooters. Of these incidents, there were 68 deaths. That gives us a fatality rate of 0.058%. Keep in mind, that rate is from emergency room visits, not total accidents or total rides. If we had those numbers, that rate would be even smaller. Now let's compare that rate to the rate for the most popular vehicles on the road, cars and trucks. The rate of car-related fatalities compared to the amount of vehicles on the road has been going down dramatically over time, and this is thanks to improved safety and improved technology but there still are incidents. Using the most recent data, in 2020, there were more than 42,000 car-related deaths. And using some data from Statista on top of this, we can get a fatality rate. Statista reports that there were more than 9 million accidents in 2020. And using those two numbers together, we get a death rate of 0.46%. That's a small number, but it's still eight times the amount that we saw for scooters. So are electric scooters actually dangerous? Yeah but people aren't getting hurt as frequently or as severely as the media might have you think. Some interesting stats for scooters though, were that in these cases, most of the incidents were related to brake problems and only 52% of people wearing helmets. So make sure your scooter works if you're gonna use one and wear some safety gear. The analysis here is definitely limited and we only really talked about the fatality rate. Cars and scooters also often ride in very different environments. Did I miss any data here? Do you have any stories to share? Let me know in the comments below and we'll see you next time.